So the last few months, I've been just obsessing over AI and SEO and everything that's going on right now because so much is changing. Everybody's scrambling, trying to figure out where's this going, what's actually working, how to get mentioned on LLMs like ChatGPT. But I wanna break this down so you know everything that you need to know moving forward. So to make this video easy, I've broken this down into five key ideas. If you understand these, you're gonna be just fine. Number one, Google is still by far the most popular search engine. So don't let anybody convince you that all of a sudden everybody's going to chat GPT to find a dentist because that's just not the case. Now with that said, things are definitely changing in the world of SEO, probably more so than ever before. People are using these different LLMs to ask questions, get information, and in some cases to find a business. So we definitely need to be aware of that. And I'm gonna talk about what that means for your SEO strategy here in a second. The second thing you need to understand is this is absolutely a positive change for good businesses. The purpose of AI is just to be a more accurate search engine. So it's going to be quicker and more accurate at recommending good businesses. It's no longer just going to be about keywords and backlinks. These AI models are going to accurately measure and judge all the different brands across the web and then give the results that best fit the prompt. So if you're a good business, if you do good work, if you have a good reputation, and if you truly are the best fit for that person, you're going to get recommended. The reason I'm excited about this is I don't think people are going to be able to game the system anymore. There's no longer this pay to play element where people can just buy a ton of backlinks and outrank everybody else. If you are a quality business and truly the best fit, you're going to get suggested. Number three, the basics still win. Quality, authority, keywords, content, and reputation are still the main factors that determine your ranking and exposure. Search engines like Google have always been highly motivated to serve up the best results for whatever's being searched. If it doesn't give good results, people would cease to use those search engines. And AI is exactly the same way. If it's not giving the correct information or giving good suggestions, people just wouldn't use it. And with how quickly AI is evolving, it's going to get to the point where it gives the perfect answer, the perfect solution. But if you really think about it, there's no better way to determine what business to recommend other than those basics. These are the natural signals that have worked in the past to rank a business, and they're going to work in the future. The way that search engines and AI go about finding a good business is the exact same way that you or I would go about finding a good friend. Are they a quality human? Are they trustworthy? Do you connect and agree with what they say? And do they have a good reputation? It's the way we judge people, and it's the way that we judge businesses, and I don't see that changing. There's, there's really no better way. So as long as you get those basics right, it's highly likely that you're going to get mentioned in these AI chats. All right, number four, there are hacks and shortcuts but like all of the other SEO hacks before, they're going to get nerfed. Right now, SEO experts across the web are looking for ways to cheat the system, to boost their rankings the easiest way possible. Now that's just part of SEO, so feel free to pursue and exploit those different hacks as you find them, but be aware that at the end of the day, the only things that are tried and true and always will be are those basics. So don't feel overwhelmed or feel like you're being left behind because somebody else found a way to spam Reddit and get their business mentioned in ChatGPT because a lot of those things are already getting fixed. So in the grand scheme of things, those really are just shiny objects. So you can pursue them, but don't make them your whole strategy. Now the fifth and final and probably most important point of this video is something that has always been true in SEO and always will be true moving forward and that is the tools are everything. If you want to be successful at SEO, you need to use the right tools. You can scrape all the data you want manually and run as many searches and prompts as you want, but you will barely scratch the surface of understanding your brand visibility and your rankings unless you use the right SEO tools. Now this is easy for me to say because I've built my own SEO tools, but even my team internally we use multiple different SEO tools for basic SEO and for AEO or AI SEO. There's no reason for you to try to do this manually or even with just one tool because there is so much data out there and these tools today make it so easy to visualize and understand that data and then know exactly what you need to do to increase your visibility. Now the SEO tool that we've been building, clicks.sl, is a basic keyword research and analytics tool, but we've pretty much dropped everything that we're working on within the tool to focus on our new AI features because we know that not only is it trending right now, but it's going to be so important for the future. 
the way this tool works is so cool. You can track your prompts, you can see your visibility and sentiment scores across all the different LLMs, and it's going to make it so much easier for you to track when your brand is getting mentioned, not only on search engines, but also on all these different AI chats. So all of this is going to be ready to launch probably in the next week or two, but we really need beta testers to dive in, use the tool, see how it works, give feedback. So if this is something that you would like to try, all you need to do is go join the waitlist at clicks.so backslash AI. Once you're on that waitlist, we'll shoot you a message right when the beta version becomes available so you can dive in and start tracking your prompts and your visibility. This is gonna be such a cool tool. I'm so excited to use it for all of our clients and I'm excited to share it with all of you. So if you have any questions about SEO or AEO or anything else that we've talked about in this video, drop it down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.